better than before. You take that moment, you learn that lesson, and you improve society. We have to do that here. And we have to do it affirmatively. It doesn't just happen. You have to say, let's, we paused, New York paused. You paused. You reflect, you learn, you grow, and you move forward. Uh, look at what we learned about the public health system. You know what we learned about the public health system? There is no public health system capacity. Hospitals had the number of beds they needed to operate. Well, what in case of an emergency? There was no emergency capacity in hospitals. Nobody had beds left empty. Oh, that wing is in case there's an emergency. Then we would use that wing. It didn't exist. Why not? Well, that's not what we did. So, how do you improve the public health system? How do you improve the emergency response? Well, we never had to deal with a pandemic before. By the way, what is a pandemic? Okay, well, now we did. And now let's learn. And how are we going to be ready for the next situation like this? Because there will be another. I don't know what it is. I don't know when it is. I don't know if this virus comes back in a second wave. But there will be something. And we have to be ready and better for it. And not just what you learned, but what have we been talking about doing that we should be doing that this is now an opportunity to do? We've talk, been talking about reimagining the workforce and workplace. Uh, does everybody actually have to drive into the office every day? Or did we learn that there are ways to telecommute and work from home where it's actually more efficient, it's actually more effective? What do we do about a transit system? And how do we make it safer? Not just the way we've been talking about, but also from a public health point of view. And how are we now smarter about public interactions? I can't tell you how many doctors now have come to me and said, you know, I said for years we shouldn't be shaking hands, that it's just a total way to transmit uh, germs and viruses, etc. So how do we take this moment since we are paused anyway, and actually come back smarter. I also believe uh, it'll work. It's a moment of, of personal reflection, you know. Uh, we've been in a different circumstance. We've been in a different circumstance vis-a-vis -vis our family. What have we learned during this heartbreak and during this crisis? Uh, I've spent uh, a lot of time with my kids, 22 25 twins, 225s. The my my interactions with my kids had gotten so superficial over these past few years. Uh, you know, everyone's busy, busy, busy. So, what do you need? Everything good? Uh, you need anything from me? When do I see you? I miss you. That was the same conversation, like over and over and over. Now I got time to sit with them and really have in-depth conversations that I hadn't had in a long time. And I'll tell you, one of the things I learned is I was missing a lot, you know. Uh, they're not four, five, six, seven, ten years old anymore. They're grown up, and they have complex lives and complex feelings and complex situations, and you don't understand that or get to appreciate that when all you say is, How's everything, anything you need, when do I see you again, you know? Uh, well, I was busy, it's my defense to myself. I was busy, I was busy. Uh, yeah, except uh, that's not an excuse. And uh, take a deeper reflection on what's important in life. And uh, you, you can't have a real quality relationship with your child or another human being unless you take the time to get below that surface and really understand the person and really take the time to talk through what's going on. People don't 